And too many uh, medevac helicopters that are supposed to save lives have been costing lives. We're going to tell you what's being done to try to make them safer. The federal government is cracking down on helicopter safety in the aftermath of a number of recent fatal accidents. Let's go to our Homeland Security correspondent, Jean Meserve. She has the details. Jean? Well, if too many life-saving medevac helicopters have been costing lives because of crashes. Today, proposals intended to make them safer. The irony is never lost. Helicopters designed to save lives instead crashing and taking lives. Four died in this 2008 crash of a medevac helicopter just outside Washington, one of 139 air ambulance crashes in the past 10 years that have killed 130 people. These people are out there doing a uh, humanitarian service and uh, you know they end up losing their lives in the process. To improve safety, the Federal Aviation Administration is now proposing new rules for medevac choppers requiring ground warning systems, stricter flight time and crew rest rules, dispatch centers to monitor weather and track flights, and programs to analyze flight risk. No question about it. There will be fewer helicopter accidents as a result of what the FAA did this morning. But many of the choppers have crashed at night. And Gary Robb says there is one additional safety measure the FAA should require, night vision goggles. That's the most significant omission, and that's the number one thing that would have had the most dramatic effect in decreasing helicopter crashes in this country. The organization representing medevac helicopter operators issued a statement saying it had not had time to carefully review the FAA proposal and would withhold comment. The FAA estimates the new rules would cost the industry $136 million over 10 years, but there's no telling how many lives could be saved. Wolf? All right, Gene, thanks very much. Gene, reserve with that. Uh,